Hello everybody, I am Savan from Inspiring Minds and we will continue our discussion on pathology. Today's topic of discussion is cell injury molecular mechanisms. The thing is that we don't know the cause behind the changes that occurs in the necrosis and the apoptosis. Most of us are familiar with the terms and we are familiar that okay the cell injury occurs and something gets wrong inside the cell. But what exactly happens we are not much aware of that. So today I am going to discuss the molecular mechanism that are there and what happens exactly in the cell injury. So we will start. अब हम बात करेंगे कि जब भी सेल इंजरी होती है वेन एवर द सेल इज एक्सपोज टू एनी टाइप ऑफ एजेंट्स यू नो दैट कैन कॉज इंजरी दैट इज स्कीमिया टॉक्सन हाइपॉक्सिया कुछ भी एजेंट हो हमने देखा है कि देर आर सर्टेन कंपोनेंट सर्टेन ऑर्गेनल इज इन द सेल एंड सर्टेन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेल दैट आर इफेक्टेड वेन द स्ट्रेस इज देयर वेन सम एजेंट्स दैट आर डैमेजिंग आर देयर सो दो components experience some changes what are those components that experience changes that experience the most of the stress the most of the effects of the stress so we have membrane membranes of the cell in general uh, whether it is plasma membrane whether it is mitochondrial membrane whether it is lysosomal membranes membranes mitochondria protein synthesis machinery we all know that rna ribosome and you know endoplasmic reticulum and all then we have the dna so any stress is going to affect all these systems all these components of the cell how let us take the example of an ischemic injury so i have drawn a clot here and maybe this is some you know blood vessel and the area distal to the clot is ischemic ischemic means कि ना तो उस एरिया में ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई जा रही है ना तो उस एरिया में न्यूट्रिशनल सप्लाई वेदर इट इज ग्लूकोज अमीनो एसिड एनी थिंग वॉट एवर इज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड दिस एरिया इज वॉट नॉट गेटिंग दैट सब्सटेंस इज नॉट गेटिंग द ऑक्सीजन ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन रिलेशन टू द ऑक्सीजन वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज है जब देखिए ऑक्सीजन उस पर्टिकुलर टिश्यू को नहीं मिल पा रही है द सेल इज नॉट गेटिंग द ऑक्सीजन सो फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनली दैट इज गोइंग टू बी इफेक्टेड इज वॉट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया सो एज यू कैन रिकोगनाइज बाई द स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया में हमें पता है देर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस दैट इज गोइंग ऑन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉसोरेशन वाई डू वी नीड दैट प्रोसेस एवरीबडी नोज दैट प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉसफरेशन इज नीडेड फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए टी पी ए टी पी इज वॉट एनर्जी करेंसी ऑफ द सेल विदाउट ए टी पी द सेल कैन नॉट परफॉर्म द फंक्शन विच फंक्शन द वेरी फंक्शन दैट आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द सर्वाइवल ऑफ द सेल ओके सो वील सी इफ द ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉसफरेशन इज नॉट हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ नो ऑक्सीजन वॉट इज अकोडिंग इन द सेल सी लो ए टी पी विल बी देर या and low atp will be there why because there is no generation of the atp and the atp that was already there you know earlier that is also getting depleted and that atp is converting in amp yeah so ye waisa hi hai that you are not getting the food and whatever food you had in your house you have eaten all of that food okay so low atp can Uh, bring certain changes. We'll see what. देखिए जब भी ए टी पी लो है सेल में तो ऑब्वियसली द मकैनिज्म दैट आर ए टी पी डिपेंडेंट आर गोइंग टू बी इफेक्टेड वॉट मकैनिज्म आर ए टी पी डिपेंडेंट मकैनिज्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी डिस्कस अ वेरी स्पेशल पंप दैट इज कॉल्ड अ सोडियम पोटेशियम ए टी पी दिस पंप आई नो यू नो इट फ्रॉम द फिजियोलॉजी ऑल्सो दिस पंप इज एसोशिएटेड विद मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सोडियम एंड द पोटेशियम कंसेंट्रेशन ओके Uh, physiologically the sodium is more in the extracellular matrix and potassium is more in the intracellular uh, you know cytosolic space so atp is necessary for working of this pump aur agar ye pump work nahi kar pa raha what is going to happen is the gradients are going to reverse the sodium will come from uh, extracellular matrix or ecf into the cell and what will the sodium bring along with it is the water okay so sodium and water has accumulated in the cell so what will happen the cell is going to swallow 
no swell 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 not swallow anything it swallowed sodium but now it is going to swell okay like a you know like you swell your face uh, something like that is going to happen and that cell is swelling so obviously it will appear big swollen and because of that water and the sodium inside it the membranes will have what blebs you should know blebs blebs is nothing but uh, for example this is a you know membrane of the cell and because of swelling of the cell the membrane has you know some out pouchings like this out pouchings so these are called as blebs so appearance of the blebs and uh, swelling in the cell it is you know very early feature that can be seen in case of depletion of the ATP whatever the cause is we are not concerned about the cause here and obviously the low ATP what else it's going to do low ATP jo hai, obviously ATP is not going to uh, is not being produced so cell will turn into what anaerobic pathway for glycolysis yes and if you are uh, using the anaerobic glycolytic pathway what is going to happen is there will be production of ATP yes less amount but along with it you will have production of lactic acid and if you have lactic acid it is acidic and because of lactic acid production the pH of the cell what happens to the pH it decreases decrease pH is not good because to maintain its homeostatic function the cell needs a constant amount of pH yeah a constant pH so this pH what does it cause it causes the denaturation of various cellular proteins and also it causes the denaturation and even the clumping of the matrix of the chromatin you know the chromatin of the cell the DNA of the cell it also get denatured because of the decreased pH caused by the lactic acid yeah the other thing that happens is uh, because of low ATP is which calcium pumps in cell ke andar, uh, these calcium pumps also become def uh, becomes defective what happens is that the calcium now start accumulating in the cytosol of the cell and this is not very good thing because uh, physiologically the calcium is more in extracellular space and now the cell is having a lot of calcium if the cell is having a lot of calcium the calcium will have its own bad effects what are the bad effects that can be uh, caused due to the calcium anybody knows yeah these calcium activates the various cellular enzymes what type of enzymes phospholipase okay by some signaling pathways but you should know what are the effects phospholipase activated what will happen the membrane made up of phospholipids in the cell it will uh, get what damaged okay membrane damage activation of proteases the structural functional components of the cell all the proteins they will start what denaturing damaging endonucleases activation will damage what dna activation of atpases will damage what atps already the cell is having no atp depletion in the atp levels but now what is happening is more atp will deplete and this calcium can also activate a, a enzyme group that is called as caspases caspases it is a very important group of enzyme these enzyme can induce apoptosis the self death suicide of the cell so increased calcium in short is a suicide agent for the cell it is just like poison yeah also the calcium increases the mitochondrial permeability you know the membrane of the mitochondria they become permeable and this is not good why any membrane that becomes permeable is uh, you know pathologically permeable it's not good why because if it becomes permeable the mitochondrial membrane the you know the mitochondrial membrane have a proton gradient that is very necessary for oxidative phosphorylation yes so you lose that proton gradient and it will further result into depletion of the atp yeah so increased calcium we have discussed and also because of low atp what will happen there will be detachment of ribosomes okay 
ribosomes will detach from the ER and a plasmic reticulum and again the proteins won't be synthesized so as a whole you can see everything is causing the disruption of the protein synthesis disruption of the membranes disrup uh, disruption of uh, DNA yeah and other mechanism that is very important is oxygen radicals oxygen radicals we know they are of various type O2 minus super oxygen H2 O2 OH minus all these are free radicals that have uh, you know uh, one free electron in the outer orbit of them and these oxygen derived free radicals that are also produced whenever the mitochondria is you know damaged because of some processes yeah and when the oxidative phosphorylation is not occurring properly what is going to happen there is rapid increase in the level of free radicals yeah and these free radicals themselves are uh, uh, causing uh, damage to the various structure of the cell these free radicals are a free grenade bomb you throw them anywhere on any structure of the cell it is going to damage that structure okay so these free radicals can damage lipids carbohydrates structural proteins and whatever they encounter so this is how in short the injury is taking place okay in the cell and you should be very much clear about these mechanisms because if you are clear about them then it will make your further understanding of necrosis and the apoptosis easier and we will discuss them in a separate video so thank you everybody for watching it and keep on watching my series of videos on pathology subscribe comment and whatever questions you have you can comment it below and have a nice day